Welcome to the homework for Lesson 21, Grade 3, Module 3, Write Your Name. We're going to be doing some word problems, and you're never going to think of writing your name on it later after you've done them all. We're using the RDW process for each problem. That's, and we're going to do it in that order. It's really important to draw the picture of the question before you solve and not try to draw your solution after you've solved it. There are because it's part of the problem solving process you don't get you just don't get good at solving new problems that you haven't solved before unless you have a way to look at them and the picture is the way that you look at them there are 60 minutes in one hour use a tape diagram to find the total number of minutes in six hours and 15 minutes so we have six hours one two three four five so this is one hour and then we have this little 15 minutes here and each hour is 60 minutes So we have all these 60s and then a little bonus 15. And that's what we have to figure out is how far is it from the, the beginning to the end of that piece of tape. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 60. This section here. We can look at as six times six times ten, which is thirty six times ten, which is three hundred sixty plus the fifteen is what we want to figure out. We can do that in our head. That equals three hundred seventy five. The total minutes are 375. Ms. Lemus buys seven boxes of snacks. Each box has 12 packets of fruit snacks and 18 packets of cashews. How many snack packets does she buy altogether? Well, she buys seven boxes of snacks. So right away, here's her piece of tape with seven boxes in it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is one snack box. Now each one has 12 fruit snacks and 18 packets of cashews. So we have each one of these is a 12 and an 18. We could just add those together in our head and say, okay, that 12 and that 18, that's 30, right? Because we got the 8 and the 2, that's a 10. We could just call that a 30. We could label all of these 30 packets. And we want to find out how much is it for all those, how much are all those packets? Seven boxes times 30. So it's seven times 30 equals our question mark. So seven times 30, that's the same as seven times three times 10. If you want to use that method, you might be able to just look at it and solve it in your head. But that's seven times three is 21 and then 21 times 10 210 she buys 210 total 
snack packets. Tamara wants to buy a tablet that costs $437. She saves $50 a month for nine months. Does she have enough money to buy the tablet? Okay, she wants to buy a tablet. We know the total cost of the tablet. Here's what she saves. We have to find out if it's enough. $50 a month for nine months. So we need a piece of tape with nine fifties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And each fifty dollars is one month, right? That's why there's nine of them. And we can see that each one of these is a hundred. And it's easy to see that the whole thing is one, two, three, four hundred and fifty. dollars she will have enough to buy the tablet Because 450 is greater than the 437. And if you wanted to, you could even figure out how much she was going to have left after she buys it. Uh, and we see we don't have enough ones, so we need to. Decompose a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 4 tens minus 3 tens. She's going to have $13 left over. And uh, we need uh, an equation out of this for this whole tape diagram here to describe it. And that would be 950s, right? 9 times 50. Well, 450. Mr. Ramirez receives four sets of books. Each set has 15 fiction books and 14 non-fiction books. He puts 97 books in his library and donates the rest. How many books does he donate? Okay, so he receives four sets of books. Let's just draw that first. Four sets of books. Each set has 16 fiction and 14 nonfiction. So that's 16 plus 14. And it doesn't tell us to think about fiction or nonfiction books. He just puts books in the library and donates the rest. So we all we just have to do is figure out how many books he has. So 16 plus 15, 14, that is two tens, that's 20, and that's another 10, so that's 30. So these are 30s. And this is one set of books. So the whole thing is his books. And it's 30 times 4, which is 120. And he donates 97. So we could look at this and say 30, and this 30, and this 30, and this 30 is 90. 
and that really he just needs seven more to say that these are these are the ones he keeps and then 30 minus 7 is going to be 23 right so this will be 23 here so we can see that that's what he donates you could just use the tape diagram like that and it's really it makes this a lot easier than all the other steps you're going to have to do like i had started to do so we have a hundred if we have 120 total books and then we have to subtract 120 minus the 97 and we have to decompose a 10 10 minus 7 is 3 that was uh, 110 left and we have to decompose this 100 to make 11 tens so we'll have two tens left and there's our 23 mr mr so what's easier just like writing the stuff down right away or if you draw the picture what did i have to do all i had to do was split up 30 and into 7 and 23 and i i, I didn't have to multiply anything or do any sub, uh, do hardly any subtraction except for figuring out the parts of the parts of 30 at the end mr ramirez donates 23 books celia sells calendars for the fundraiser each calendar costs nine dollars she sells 16 calendars to her family members and 14 calendars to the people in her neighborhood her goal is to earn 300 dollars. does celia reach her goal so we got to figure out if she sold enough she make enough money selling calendars did she make the 300 bucks there that was her goal now to draw the picture i could draw 16 a big piece of tape with 16 nines in it for family members and add on to it another 14 nines to the people in her neighborhood but that's just ridiculous uh, i'm not going to draw that so instead i'm going to try to draw a tape diagram for this is a uh, family and this is her neighbors 16 family and 14 to the neighbors and this we need to find the total calendars Sixteen plus fourteen equals thirty, and then thirty times nine dollars is two hundred seventy dollars. Celia, sadly. did not reach her goal she needs to sell 30. what does she need she needs 30 more dollars to get to her goal right so that's she needs to sell uh, how many nines would that be well, it'll be uh, 9, 18, 27, 36. She needs to sell four more calendars. The video store sells science and history movies for $5 each. How much money does the video store make if it sells 33 science movies? and 57 history movies so that's a lot of fives and i'm not i'm not going to draw that many fives if i draw one movie at a time uh, what i want to do instead is this these are 
these are the science movies and here are the history movies we know there's 33 science movies and 57 history movies and this is how many movies Thirty-three plus fifty-seven. You might be able to add this in your head if you look at the digits, because you've got thirty and fifty. That's eighty, and this three and seven is another ten, so that's ninety. So that's ninety movies, and then we have to figure out that's five dollars each, right? Ninety times five dollars is what? Well, using our times 10 skills, we're thinking of 9 times 5 times 10, right? It's kind of how you're going to do it in your head. You're thinking of that 9 times 5 is 45, and the 45 times 10 is $450. The video store there are still video stores around not a lot of them but they are still around uh the video store oops not equals the video store makes 450 dollars 